probability so the first thing that we discuss here is why should you learn probability let us say you are a machine learning student or a pattern recognition student what is the need of your learning probability so see whenever you are learning anything if you understand the aim why you are learning then it's very easy to go forward with the learning process otherwise you will be a bit open ended on oh why am i learning all this so see the requirement of probability is this whenever you are doing any machine learning problem or uh, in general let's say any pattern recognition problem what happens is you always get to deal with uncertainty uncertainty there will be many situations where you exactly don't know the exact points but instead you have the points here and there for example if we saw if you saw the curve fitting example that we discussed if this is your curve the points that you get would be somewhere over here and all so from these points you have to come and understand this curve so basically there is a slight uncertainty there because you are not having the exact data instead you have the data which is somewhat related to the underlying uh, regular regularity that you have so you're trying to estimate this curve using data that you have which lies here and there on the curve right the same happens with any such problem you, you any sort of pattern recognition problem or any regression problem where you're trying to predict something so this uncertainty is something that you always have to deal with and what does this probability theory do it consists of a framework for quantification and manipulation of uncertainty so this probability will help you understand uncertainty and to come up with an estimation or quantification of this uncertainty so the first thing when you deal with a pattern recognition problem where does the uncertainty creep in from mainly there are two sources the first thing is noise noise as we just saw in data there will be a lot of noise so this noise would slightly change the actual values of data which would mean it introduces a bit of uncertainty and the second size problem is the finite size of data the finite size of data because of finite size you don't in many situations you don't have enough data to make an exact identification so you will have to approximate even if you are plotting a line you may not be very clear of whether it should be this line or this line you may have a slight uncertainty there so to understand uncertainty and to come up with a decision first thing you have to understand probability theory on how to find probabilities of different events and secondly once you are good with probability theory you should learn decision theory then along with this probability theory with the help of decision theory you'll be able to come up with optimal predictions so coming up with optimal predictions that is this whole field of machine learning and pattern recognition right so uh, i hope you are very clear on why you want to learn probability so let's start coming to probability the first thing you have to understand is how to find the probability of an event let's say a is an event and you want to find probability of a let us uh, take a very basic example and understand this uh, probability by definition it goes like this that the fraction of times that an event occurs out of the total number of trials let's say totally there are n trials out of this small n is the number of times the trial a event occurred so you will count the number of times a occurred out of the total number of trials that is the probability of a so uh, to understand this let's take an example let's say there are two bags this is a bag and this is also a bag so you have these two bags here this is let's say a white black bag and this is a black bag now you have to choose one of these bags randomly let's say you are blindfolded you came here and you picked one of this bag you can either pick black or you can pick white you have to now estimate let's say what is the probability of picking the white bag so how will you estimate this first you repeat this trial of picking the bag for many times let's say you repeated it 10 times 10 times you came here and picked a bag randomly so when you are simply picking blindfolded either the white bag can come into your hand or the black bag can so you did it 10 times so total number of trials is 
10. Let us say when you did it 10 times, 6 times in your hand white bag came in and the remaining 4 times it was the black bag. So in this case, the probability of picking the white bag will become 6 out of 10 and the probability of picking the black bag, it will be 4 out of 10. So this is how you understand probability in a very basic level. This is a very basic thing that you should understand. The fraction of times the event A occurs out of the total number of trials. That is the probability of any event A. So the, now you understood the very basic of probability. The next thing is about uh, random variable and before going to random variable let's say about sure event and impossible event that is any probability of any event it should be in the range 0 to 1 that is just now we saw the probability were 6 by 10 and 4 by 10 so both these are in the range of 0 to 1 why is it so because while we are estimating probability 0 means probability of 0 that is 0 percent chances of that event occurring you can't have it less than 0% chances. The worst you can have for an event is 0% chance of occurring, right? Similarly, probability of 1, 1 means 100% chances of occurring. That means this is a sure event. It will in any way occur and you can't have anything more than this. And whatever are the remaining probabilities, they should all remain in this range between 0 and 100. So the range of probability is 0 to 1. 1 means 100%, 0 means 0% probability. What do you call an event if it is having probability value as 0? What if P of A equal to 0? This sort of an event is what you call impossible event. What is an example? Let's say you are throwing a die. Let's say you are throwing this die. So this has 6 faces. So there, there will be numbers from 6. There will be 1, 2, 3 and all marked in the die, right? This is how a die is normally. From 1 to 6, you have all numbers marked. What is the probability of getting the number 7 on the roll of a die? If you are rolling the die, what is the probability of getting the number 7? It is 0 because there is no face for this die which has the number 7, which means if you roll this die, you have zero chances of getting the number seven. This is an impossible event, impossible event. That's when you will have probability zero. So that is called an impossible event. And what if probability is one? What is what if the probability of an event is one? This is called as a sure event, sure event or a certain event. So what is a certain event? Let us say you are tossing a coin and I'm asking you, what is the probability of getting a head or a tail? See, a coin has only two options. Either it can be a head or it can be a tail. I'm asking you, what is the probability of it being a head or a tail? It is one because whenever we to you toss a coin, you will surely get one of these outcomes. So the probability of head or tail, it is one. So this is a sure event or a certain event. So once you are clear with this much of con concepts, let's move on to random variable. Random variable. What to say random variable? Rand vari random variable is a variable that can take on different values as a result of random event. That is, let us take the example of the bags that we took just before. You have a white bag and a black bag. So, let us say there is a random variable called b okay this b denotes bag so what is the probability of b equal to white that is the probability of the white bag what is the probability of b equal to black that is the probability of this black let's call this small b black this is the probability of choosing this black bag so this random variable it kind of describes you the uncertainty that is associated with the outcome of this random event. So picking a bag is a random event. You are saying you have a variable called B which belongs to the identity of the bag. Now B is your random variable. This variable can have can take two different values. One is white and one is black. So whenever the selection is white bag, this random variable B which denotes the bag can take the value 
W for white. And whenever it is the black bag, it can take the value small b, which denotes black. So this is what a random variable is.